and passing dreams. That is where you and I will meet. But a dream is not reality. Who's to say which is which? Now this is called the messenger of God. Uh, this picture showed up again uh, on YouTube. Somebody had gotten a picture of this and I wanted to explain what it is. It's not planet X. This is uh, Mercury uh, that is crossing over the sun. Mercury uh, puts out wings as she gets close to the sun. And that's what this is. Uh, again, this is not Planet X or Nibiru. Uh, let's go to Stellarium. Uh, as you can see, the 19th, it was in and around this time that I saw the picture show up on YouTube. And uh, as you can see, Mercury is traveling across the sun. As we go to Soho Stereo, uh, same thing uh, you've got mercury this is a different view from earth that's why mercury is down here uh, mercury is the messenger of god uh, when it gets close to the sun it puts out these really pretty wings and so uh, as you can see that's what's going on uh, it is not planet x it is not um Devereux. Uh, anyway, as you can see, we have our little serpent here, and we'll talk about that at a later time. But uh, that's what's going on, guys, is uh, when Mercury is in uh, traveling above the sun, and it gets to a, a specific location, it's flaring out these wings, and it makes the anomaly. Uh, that you see in uh, this picture here and so uh, anyway I just wanted to share that with you uh, the uh, <laughs> the sky is like a giant curtain and uh, when uh, the heavenly host which are the planets are in uh, specific locations due to you know in conjunction with the Sun they will put out these ghosts uh, you will see it looks like there is an alien planet uh, somebody else had put out a picture of this and you can see a, a planet there a ghost planet and they said well it's planet X or Nibiru I beg to differ I say it's uh, actually a shadow uh, a ghost of Mercury uh, again we see these these ghosts um, when anything is up around the sun, uh, when the angels are up around the sun, they put out these beautiful shadows on the earth. People think these are, are uh, UFOs, aliens. Uh, they must show up on radar because there's been times when uh, the military will scramble jets. Uh, they chase these shadows and then these shadows just disappear. Well, I believe it's because they're up by the sun. Anyway, I just wanted you to know that this is not Planet X Nibiru. Um, you know, the messenger of God is very important. Joseph of Arimathea was called a messenger of God. He was uh, Jesus Christ's uncle. Uh, Joseph... Uh, Jesus' father had died when Jesus was very young and he traveled with his uncle. His uncle was a very powerful 
man with Rome because he was a miner of tin and silver. He was uh, very powerful with the Sanhedrin as well. Uh, in fact, he was probably part of the Sanhedrin. And uh, anyway, Jesus traveled with him and uh, they went to Gastonbury, England a lot. This is in their history books. Uh, go find these uh, books on Gastonbury and Jesus. In fact, you can find a lot of it online. Uh, but anyway, um, on Joseph of Arimathea's uh, sarcophagus is uh, the symbol or a picture of Mercury because Joseph was a messenger of God when uh, he was the one that took Christ's body off of the cross and placed it in his tomb that he had made for himself and uh, after the resurrection and uh, and the ascension uh, the Sanhedrin went after followers of Jesus they put him in a, a boat or a ship and cast them adrift uh, Joseph was one of them Mary Jesus's mother uh, rumor had it that Mary and Martha Lazarus there was a, a a lot of people cast adrift in this ship without sails and oars God got them to a, uh, a port. They were able to buy sails and they made their way to England. Uh, this is very important. England does play a very large role in uh, taking the gospel to the world. In fact, the apostles uh, made trips to England uh, to see Israel that was there. And I won't spend a whole lot of time with that. Uh, I'll try to do it at a later time maybe but just know that these symbols uh, really do belong to you and not the elite they use them against you because we don't know uh, our history and uh, Mercury is the messenger of God uh, this picture like I said right here Mercury is probably very close to the Sun and then the wings jet out and so this is the heavenly host. This is not uh, Planet X. All right, this is Skull and Bones. Um, we'll talk more about Joseph of Arimathea and Jesus in another video uh, because it's very key. I think that you understand uh, the role that England played in uh, taking the gospel to the world. Uh, anyway, uh, the skull and bones uh, is a Christian symbol. It does not belong to the hegemony or the elite or the oligarchy, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is just a, a group of people in college who who use skulls. Uh, you know, it's rumored that they use the skull of Geronimo in their uh, rituals. It's all a lie. Anyway. Uh, and they're not to be feared. They don't have any special power. They're just a bunch of men and women. Um, it's rumored that the first Adam, and we'll talk about him in another video, and uh, how he really is the first one that fell in the garden. Um, remember the Bible says by one man, uh, the woman was deceived. It is the first Adam that falls. Uh, he is the serpent in the garden. Uh, he deceives the woman. She repeats his narrative that he told her. There are only two people in the garden with God. And uh, so God does not change. He doesn't, um, if, if a snake had legs and could speak, it would I would imagine it could speak and have legs today. God never changes. There's no variableness in him. And so a snake has always been a snake. Uh, the term serpent was used um, as more of a metaphor. Anyway, um, it is rumored that the first Adam is buried at Golgotha. And uh, he was the one that brought death and hell to us. It is in our flesh. It is our flesh, death and hell. Uh, the second Adam, Jesus, the Son of God, uh, the right hand of God. Uh, you are your right hand. <laughs> you are your forehead and right hand. 
Uh, he is the right hand, the flesh of God. Uh, he took this death and hell up on the cross and uh, he now holds the keys of death and hell that the first Adam lost. Uh, that's what this symbolizes. It has been stolen by uh, wicked men uh, and it is being used against you. Anyway, the elite who call themselves skull and bones are just men. They have no special power. Uh, they can go sacrifice children and do whatever wickedness they want, but it does not give them special powers. Uh, the prisons are full of people who worship Satan, so there is no special power there. Uh, the only special power they would have is the military and some uh, alchemy scientism that they use. Uh, they also use propaganda sleight of hand against you, and, but there is no ultimate power there. They are just rebellious men against God. They worship the first Adam. Go worship. Uh, go read uh, Theosophy. Uh, they worship the first Adam because he got him out of the garden. Anyway, uh, I just want you to not be uh, intimidated by skull and bones because uh, that definitely uh, has turned something good into something evil. Um, you know, the Bible talks about how we will make good evil and evil good. Anyway, uh, let's go to, uh, let me see, um, let's take this down and go here. This is the eye of God. Um, this is the M151 galaxy. Uh, of course, here's the eye. Here's the cross in the eye. We're, there's all kinds of holograms around this. Um, here is your skull right here, and here is your cross. It is on the cross of Christ. Uh, this is in the sky. Um, just know, guys, that things are not what you what they appear. We're going to talk about in another segment of what um, demons, doctrines of devils are. This, these are spirits of beliefs. And they were so ingrained in people in Christ's time that they actually had to heal their mind because these doctrines of devils were so strong. Uh, there are uh, wicked men who walk the earth after death who are looking for flesh. And we'll try to go through that at another time. But most of the, um, when Christ was casting out demons, I'm sure a lot of it was spirits of beliefs. Uh, because having your mind healed by Christ is very important because of all the things, of all of the lies, everything that has been done to us. Anyway, I just wanted you to know that the skull and the bones actually do belong to the believers, not the other way around. And again, we will talk more about Joseph and Jesus. It's a fascinating, I don't want to call it a story because it is true. Uh, they still do have evidence. Uh, the Abbey was destroyed by Henry VIII, but they still do have evidence that the whole thing is true. Um, and we'll talk more about this at, a, at another segment. Anyway, um, just know that um, things are not what you believe. We've been lied to. And uh, the elite, the hegemony, the oligarchy, you know, they're deceived and in the dark too. And so uh, I'll be back. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like this. Um, you know, I'm researching for myself and I'm sharing it with you. Uh, no Planet X that I can find. I see the heavenly host always and they cast these shadows on the earth. It's fascinating. But these big planets that be people get of ghosts, uh, it's not Planet X. They are the heavenly host. Anyway, I'll be back. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.